Now, six governors of Kano, Imo, Benue, Plachi, Bochi, Sokoto and Kano states will have to wait until Tuesday, 14th January 2020 to argue uh, uh, their petitions and perhaps know their fate. The Supreme Court adjourned the hearing earlier fixed for Monday by a seven-man panel but was abruptly adjourned due to the ill health of one of the justices of the panel. Aundana Inga was there and reports. The court premises was besieged with party loyalists from the two major political parties, the PDP and the APC. They were in court to lend support to their various state governors whose fate will be determined by the hearing and subsequent judgment in the electoral petitions that have lingered over the past 10 months. Unfortunately, that was not the case, as the Supreme Court suspended hearing in all the petitions. Now one of them is seriously sick and they have to adjourn. So when they adjourn, you know, ordinarily, if the person that a member of the panel cannot continue, it means the, the team has to be reconstituted. Whatever panel that uh, is constituted or reconstituted will take the appeals. So it doesn't matter. It's one Supreme Court. We are expecting seven justices to constitute the panel, and whichever panel we see here tomorrow will take the case. One may not envy the Supreme Court justices for the simple fact that they are overwhelmed with so many cases. Unfortunately, the way the Supreme Court is burdened for the apex court of the land to have 13 appeals in one day, and all of them on very high-profile political cases. Mike Ezekome, senior advocate of Nigeria, makes suggestions on how to make the system more effective, thereby lessening the burden on the justices of the Apex Court. Supreme Court, which currently has about 50 to 16 justices, should be complemented by the full panel, which is about 22, constitutionally, so that when we have a full court, then the, the justices can be sitting in different panels. There are up to three courtrooms here. The politicians, their supporters, lawyers and certainly the journalists will all converge on the Supreme Court on Tuesday to hear legal fireworks and likely verdicts to put an end to these petitions. From the Supreme Court, Abuja, Aonduna, India, STV News.